Hello everyone, Samantha here. I pray all is well with you. Um, this is this is an end screen recording video. I need to create a video for a blog post that I'm doing. So um, I'm going to be uploading this video. When I finish the blog post, I'll be able to come back on and put the blog post link in the event somebody wants to read it. So um, I'm going to be showing a quick way to navigate a website called pixabay.com. Um, it's a website you can go to to get um, copyright free commercial and personal use um, copyright free, free copyright images, or even royalty stock photos for personal use um, and our commercial use. This will be for personal use um, because I want to show how to, in another video, show how to do a simple Bible journaling page using, um, you know, images. You may be someone that um, doesn't know how to draw or you just don't want to draw um you may not have a cricket and you may not have um what is it sticker paper or you know even the funds available right now to perhaps shop for plenty of stickers but you have a computer and you have a printer so i'm not going to show all of the bible journaling um the, my Bible journaling process in this video. I'm going to show it in another video. I'm just going to show how to navigate this website. So right now, I'm going to go to Google. Instead of going straight to the website, I like to go through Google. And I'm going to put in, oh, it's there. You see, Pixabay copyright free images. So I'm going to click on this. And then here's the website, Pixabay 1 million plus stunning free images to use anywhere. And there's some information I'll go into about licensing and stuff like that on the blog post. Not in depth, I give some a link. Um, so that will help someone. Um, so I'm going to click this. So right here is their homepage. As you see, <clears throat> it says Pixabay photos, illustrator, illustrations vectors and videos so um it's already in images as you see right here in the search box so i'm going to put in dumbbells because that's what i'm looking for and here are some photos up here is shutterstock which you're gonna to have to pay for these stock photos but here it says three free images of dumbbells sometimes you can find what you're looking for for free and sometimes it's a challenge so i'll go here and I'll do copy image. So I'm not downloading this image only because this is not something I intend to keep reusing, to reuse rather. So all I have to do is right click and go to copy image. Then I'm gonna go to Word, as I have a Word document already opened up and I'm gonna paste it. And I'm going to actually shrink this because that's, that's about the size I want. And then I need two of them copy so right there I have two images that I can print out and of course I'm gonna have to fussy cut this because I'm not I'm going to be uploading this in Cricut and taking out the backspace taking out the background excuse me <coughs> excuse me and so I think they could be just a little bit bigger I'm considering the margin of my Page. Okay, so I'm going to go back to the website. Now I'm going to look for somebody jumping for joy. Right? And I'm going to use this image right here. Copy the image. And then paste. Okay, and then I'm going to shrink this. That's about the size I want. And then I'll go back to the website and I'm going to put the word joy, the word joy. And I already know that I want this one because I went here before. Oh, I didn't have to do that. I don't have to click it. 
because I'm not downloading. I only download when I know it's something that I want to reuse because I realize that your, you know, you can fill up your space, you know, on your desktop, on your laptop, or on your phone with so many images. I've done that, so I'm trying to get a handle on that and not do that unless I know I want to reuse it. Or if I do have to download it for some reason, just try to clean it out. So that's about the size I want. Let me click because I need two of them. Post. Let me see. Maybe I can put this up here. Save some space. Okay. That means I need to make this one a little smaller. Oh, come on. There we go. Save paper. Good. So that was easy, right? Very easy. And so again, let me real quick. You can go to the search box on the home page. You can put in pixabay.com and go straight there. Or you can go to Google, put in pixabay, and then you get the link. You click it, you'll come to this home page and put in, you know you know what you're looking for sometimes you know it's going to be plenty of it sometimes it's going to be maybe three or four photos or maybe it's going to be embedded in something um but it's free and it's free for personal and commercial use i don't use this for commercial use um but I will use it for personal use. Not to say I won't ever use it for commercial use, but you still have to do some, you know, um, some changing and stuff like that with editing and coloring and Photoshop and all of that. But that's for another video. And I don't know if I'll ever do a video like that because that's another level. Um, and I don't even know if I want to do that. But yeah, so that's it. So you copy your image. I'll just show that a quick real again. This look, this is kind of cute right here. Um, say like if I wanted some cameras, click, you see that right? Copy image, copy it. Go to a new page, I don't want to mess that up. Get a Word document, paste it, and look at that. Maybe you want to do a bunch of <laughs> cameras, cut them out, fussy cut it. And there you go, really nice images. Really nice, this is um, a photo. Right, um, these are photos that I have, um, not so much illustrations, <coughs> but you can find illustrations here too. Let me say, let me put an illustrated. Flower. There you go. That's really nice. I like this right here. Yeah, this is cute, right? So, yeah, so I want to say, with that being said, um, here we go, thanks for watching. <laughs> oh, you know what? Um, really quick, um, I have a favor to ask. Sometime when I upload my videos, um, and I say that I'm going to put a link. Sometimes I tend to forget. Because, you know, once you upload it and then I'm um, um, writing the, the description. And then I go to um, my creative studio. Because I usually take off the ratings for my videos. The thumbs up. Um, so, you know, my likes and dislikes. I usually take that off. And so, sometimes by the time I finish with all of that... Um, <clears throat> I will forget to put the link and then I'll watch the video. I'll be like, oh my God. And so I need to put, start putting a little note down next to me on one of my little post-its when I'm uploading the video. Just give me a quick reminder while I'm talking on the video. Just jot it down. Um, um, preferably I could put that into practice so I won't, um, forget as much. Um, but if you watch my video, <clears throat> And you notice and you happen to go to this the description section because you are looking for the link that I said that I will put there that I was going to put there. If you can be so kind to just put a comment and say you didn't put the link, I would appreciate it because 
um, I do get my comments. My comments pop up. So I'll, I'll be, you know, on the lookout. So, yeah, so that's it. So thanks for watching. <laughs> God bless you. Jesus loves you. Have a blessed day.